Shalom, brothers and sisters, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Brakathu Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rikakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers, Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters, fearing the Lord our power, Yahweh, and his beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. All praises and glory is forever due to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his beloved Son. Amen. In order to get to the um, world and sisters, it's all about that long suffering. In order to get to the kingdom of heaven, that new kingdom of heaven, which is coming very soon, we have to go through much suffering, tribulations. Yeah, but it's a thing that we have to do. We can't avoid it. Yeah. Yahweh Shai went through it. So he's sitting at the right hand side of the Father right now. He suffered for it. He suffered for us with long patience, long suffering, yeah? And why? It's very hard. To suffer this way, we have to be patient. And as you know that patience is long suffering, yeah? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, we know that new kingdom is around the corner. But we have to be patient. Alright? It's not easy. That is torture. Yeah? Can you imagine what Yahweh Shai felt? Because he knew he had to go on the cross. Yeah? So you can imagine the, the pain, the long suffering he went through. Yeah? And he knew he was going to end up on the cross. All this time he's been patient. On that time he was patient. Yeah? Long suffering. And he had to do it. There's no other way out. We have to gird up our loins. All that we seem, it seems impossible at times, no way out. Right? We just, as the scripture said, we're not to lean onto our own understanding. Yeah? So let me go to um first one is in Numbers chapter fourteen. I start from seventeen. And now I beseech thee, which means beg, let the power of my Lord. Yahweh be great according as thou hast spoken, saying, The Lord our power is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressions, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the of 
the children, which is the sons, unto the third and fourth generation. So the Lord our power has been so patient with us. Yeah? From generation unto generation. And that was painful for the Lord. Painful. But he did it. Yeah? He did it in all love. And that even cuts the reincarnation. Yeah? Where these so-called Christian said there's such as reincarnation. Alright? Third and fourth generation. We don't live once, you know. Right, so the next one is Hebrews. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4. You see, living now is just, yeah, this doesn't feel like living, right? We thank the Lord when we wake up by his will that we have his name and his son's name still written in our, in our mind. We have to thank the Lord for that. But to wake up again that's suffering yeah that's long suffering right what did I say Hebrews 4 verse 14 Mercy is found as the throne of Yahweh. You see, Yahweh Shai, our power knows the pain we're going through. Yeah, our, our power is an understanding power. And is a forever merciful and forgiving power. Yahweh Shai went through that pain. And he knows what we're going through. You don't think that Yahweh wants to come and take us out of this? This pain? He also felt it. Uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Yahawashai Hamashiach, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin that's Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai was without, without sin he was unblemished yes and he felt the pain he knows what we're going through that daily pain That's why we have to seek Yahushai daily. We have to seek Yahushai daily in order to, to for that comfort. Because without Yahushai, we are fucked. Without Yahushai. For we have not 
and high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all point tempted like as we are yet without sin all right Yahushai never went off let us therefore come bodily unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need we have to go to that throne daily we need to go to Yahushai daily in time of need because we're suffering We try to be patient, and patience is long suffering. All right? Patience is long suffering. Just a couple more. Um, what have a first Peter here? First Peter. First Peter chapter four verse sixteen to nineteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify Yahweh on his behalf. Right? For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first began begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Sham Yahushai? You see, we're in the last days now. We are in the last days. It's not no time for, 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 for being disobedient. You see, the suffering that we're going through, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rekar Kodash, we've come so far. Because yeah, we have to respect our elders. They've been in this long suffering and patience for over 30 odd years. But as soon as the Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem wakes you up, okay? From He wakes you up. Okay, in the beginning it seems nice. But as time goes on, you see, as time proceeds, progresses, you start to feel that bitterness. Because you're meant to feel it, that suffering. Right? Through much tribulation, you cannot enter into the kingdom without any form of pain or suffering, long suffering. All right? For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first be begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shem Yahushai? And if the righteous scarcely, very few, be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Let me go to Luke. I have something written in Luke. Luke 19, verse 27. So, like here for a second. Luke 19. 
Luke 19. Verse 27, sorry. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Those that did not obey the Lord. Those were not that obeyed the Lord. You see how bad that sounds? Slay them before me. Does that sound like a, 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 a all loving power? This is the Lord's movie, man. The Lord has been so patient with us and long suffering, and we're going to disobey Him. And not suffer with him. And you expect to get into the kingdom of heaven. So back to. Um, God I saw a precept there. Um, wherefore. Back in 1 Peter. Chapter 4. Verse 19. Wherefore let them that suffer. According to the will. Of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a, fair, a faithful creator. Faithful. You won't go wrong. If you're obedient, our creator is a faithful, he's a faithful, he's a just power, right? He will not go back on his word. Right? Wherefore, let them that suffer according. It's all about the sufferation. It's all about that sufferation that we must go through. One more. Second Timothy's chapter 2. Verse 10, verse 10 to 12. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Yahushai Hamashiach with eternal glory. You see, everything is through Yahushai. Yahushai went through the pain. Yahushai sweated blood for us. And where is Yahushai now? At the right hand side of the Father. It is a, a faithful saying for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, if we suffer, what we're going through now is not a, is not a pleasant feeling. Not pleasant. If we had our way right now, right now, if we had our way right now, we are called upon the Lord right now to come right now. But everything has to be fulfilled first. Yes? The Lord our power set up an order. 
The Lord our power has set up a, a perfect sequence. And that sequence has to be fulfilled. If we suffer, we will or we shall also reign with him. You see, if we deny him, right? If we be disobedient, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. He cannot deny himself. So, we have to be, we, we need out now, we need out. And we have to suffer. We have to suffer. And we just have to take it. We have to gird up our loins. We have to take it manfully. Yes? In order to reign with Yahweh Shai. We've got a couple more prophecies to be fulfilled. Yes? The mark of the bee. We need that. The C. The RFID C. The, the chip. I'm going to say it straight out. Yeah? I've said it already. World War Three, And as we are taught that World War Three will not come before the MOTB is being made mandatory. You see, that's a sequence. We are getting very close, very, very close. You see, if you have nothing to fight for, if you have no nothing to look forward to, time means nothing. Time means nothing. But because we have that hope, because we are seeking that new kingdom to come, we want it to come as in yesterday. That's why it seems like it's taking so long. And what we're doing, we're suffering, waiting, patiently, there's no other way out. So let's keep on praying for one another, defend one another. I know we have to work out our own salvation, but you must help one another. Okay? But we have to all speak the same language. We all have to be in the same agreement. We cannot come together if one is thinking from the left and one is thinking on the right. We can't do that. That's an opposite. Yeah? We need to join together if we think in agreement. We think alike. If we're equally yoked. So, brothers and sisters, I pray, I pray that we can make it soon. We pray for more patience. But we have to go through it. We have to. It's a gift from the Lord to go through that long suffering. It's not of ourselves. It's of the power. Yeah? How you think 
Yahweh Shai felt when he asked the Father to please, is there any other way? Is there any other way out? And there's no other way. So it's just the same thing with us. There is no other way out except through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. No other way. That's why the angels had to come down and, and comfort Yahweh Shai, give him strength. I'm just going off the top of my head. I know there's a scripture that says that the angel, the, some, the, 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 some angels had to come down to help him, to give him energy, strength, spiritual strength, to go through it. So although we're suffering, Yahweh Shai is giving us the strength through the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Basham Yahshai is giving us the strength to, 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 to go through this pain. That's why we have to go to the pain. We have to go to the throne every single day. But there's no other way out. With all that, all praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Yeah. Who well who rule well over us. And that is our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Yeah. So like you. Yeah. So, like I said, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Yeah. Love to you, brothers and sisters. We hope we make it. We just hope we make it. Yeah. But it's all about that long suffering. We have to fight to get into the kingdom of heaven. We have to fight. It's not an easy fight. All right? So I pray that you, brothers and sisters, keep, keep strong. Yeah? We pray for one another. Pray for one another. The Lord sees everything. Yeah? The Lord sees your mind. What kind of mind you're in. But let's try to be sincere in this truth, yeah? None of us is perfect. But it's all about the sincerity and trying, trying to do right, yeah? Shout out one, brothers and sisters. Peace and blessings to you. Yao Basham Yao Shai Basham Rekha Kwadash. Kwam Yashar Allah. Amen.